everyone, welcome to another GDevelop tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to easily add a responsive UI to your games. So this is an example project I created for the purpose of this tutorial. Uh, there are just a few elements here. There's just a, this background image uh, for fake game. Uh, these are just sprites I was working on uh, some time ago. And then I have all these separate uh, UI elements. And, and you see, like in, in this uh, window, in this scene, I place them uh, exactly in these positions because that's where I want them to be. But I also want them to be attached to this position. So in case I resize the window or I use it on different devices with different um, you know, screen sizes, I still want these elements to be in those places. And let me run the project and I'll show you uh, how it looks. So I resize the window everything is in place you know it doesn't matter how I how much I scale it uh, we have these elements attached to the right corner we have this one uh, in the middle always we have this one on the left uh, and that's exactly the behavior I wanted for for this and let me show you how this is done so here is an empty scene uh, there are no events and uh, let me just rebuild quickly uh, the same, um, you know, uh, scene that we had uh, in the previous example. And uh, now I just place all the UI elements uh, where I need them to be. So you see this uh, small uh, square here. So this is the, uh, the size of the window, uh, of the game window. So uh, we will need to kind of place all the elements within this uh, square, okay? So we have our elements. So as you can see, it seems like everything is actually fine, uh, you know. But if I start to scale my window, you know, all the elements start to disappear. They don't really follow the edges of the screen. And if you would have like character moving to the right and the camera following it, we would have these elements disappear to the left because they're kind of part of this image now, right? They are not, they don't have their own layer, they, they're just there, okay? So uh, the first thing we need to do is to create a new layer for our UI elements. We want to keep them separate and not be independent on anything that happens in the game. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is open this open a layer editor and we have already base layer this is actually where all the elements are uh, at the moment uh, so I'll just add a new layer and I'll call it UI okay so now I can close it so we have that layer and now we need to select all of these elements all of, all of the elements that uh, are meant to be UI elements okay so I selected all of them and I change here uh, the layer to UI. Okay, so now they're on the separate layer. But you know, anyway, will no, nothing will change much now. Okay, because still, they don't know where to be attached. They don't know what to do if I scale the window. Okay. So uh, next thing, uh, we will be using uh, anchor uh, behavior for this to actually anchor elements uh, to different places on the screen. So let's start from this one. I just double click it. Go to behaviors and add a behavior to object and I choose anchor. So uh, now what we want to do with this, uh, we want it to be attached to the uh, bottom of the screen and to the left, right? So uh, we can go here, so left edge anchor, so we choose left and top edge anchor, we chose bottom, okay? So we just use these two. We don't need this, we don't need to attach uh, to these ones. And now, uh, if I hit apply, and I play, it will be still kind of the same, but at least it works uh, properly. So this this will be, this element at least is attached in the right place, okay? So as you can imagine, we can do the same thing here. So double click behaviors, add, anchor, and we choose still uh, window left because that's on the left side, but this time we choose window top, okay? Uh, so now we will see difference when we start to do the same thing for this element. So let's start with the jump button, okay? So I go to behaviors, I still add anchor, left edge we choose right this time, 
and where is the uh, jump button it's still on the bottom okay so hit apply and now we will see a change so now this button is actually attached to that edge of the screen you see now it's all coming together so uh, we need to repeat this uh, thing for these two buttons as well so uh, behavior uh, the behavior anchor uh, this is still on the right and still on the bottom of the screen okay uh, and same thing here but with the uh, only difference that uh, it's on the right but on the top of the window okay let's hit apply and run the scene okay now we have anchored our buttons correctly okay so that's cool so this was uh, this was easy I think uh, now a little bit of a problem comes when we want to anchor things in the middle because there are no uh, there there is no behavior anchor behavior to do that here at least I didn't find one so one thing for sure we know uh, this this element should be attached to the bottom so let's just do that first and you know maybe uh, logically you could say it's attached to the right and left you know maybe we sh we can do this so uh, left edge let's touch to the left and right to the right apply and see what happens so it's in the middle but now it stretches you know it, it, it does this we stretch the image it is not what we want probably okay uh, you can experiment a lot with this, but you will uh, trust me. You will not find the right thing to do. Uh, it, it will not. Uh, you will not be able to anchor it properly through these things. So what I suggest you to do is to set this, all of this, to no anchor. Uh, the only one we leave is uh, window bottom. Okay. So in order to do this easily, uh, we can actually go to our events and add an event. Okay. So I add one. Uh, condition would be always so we want to always change the position depending on uh, which screen size we have so press ok and the action will be we choose our UI player cards okay and we choose uh, position and we choose X position because that's where the problem is we, 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 we were not able to attach it in the middle on the X uh, position so on the horizontal axis so I, I choose this and uh, to what it should equal so um, we should make sure that it's always in the middle so we uh, choose scene window uh, width so that's that's the size of the width of the window uh, but we divide it by two so if we take the whole size of the window and we divide it by two we find in uh, we, we immediately find the middle point of the window right so exactly in the center so this is the formula we need to add let's say ok and now if we run the project you see our uh, middle element is attached exactly uh, in the middle uh, on the bottom of the screen so it works nicely with all of our UI elements okay So that's cool so let's imagine you want to do it actually on top we just move this object here we go inside behaviors and instead of window bottom we just choose window top apply and this formula will still work so let's hit play and just do this so yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it uh, this is just a quick uh, an easy way how you can um, you know anchor your UI elements in the game and make it responsive make sure that uh, whatever screen you have for your game whatever device you're using uh, your uh, UI elements will be uh, placed in the right places and scale accordingly so uh, I hope this was helpful if you like this video please check my other videos um, and subscribe to my channel I publish uh, new videos every week and uh, please follow me on Twitter and Discord as well to know more uh, about my own game I'm working on, on to see or to be notified about new tutorials and uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.